The inauguration ceremony of the fourth autonomous Bougainville government began with the Guard of Honor. Emotions running high during the national anthem, Prime Minister James Marpin and wife Rachel brought to tears as the national anthem ended and the Arab national song was sung. The president, along with his 39 other members, sworn in as the prime minister witnessed the ceremony officiated by Chief Justice Gibbs Salika. After the House of Representatives business of the day that included nominations for the regional representatives and election of the speaker came to an end, the president finally gave his inaugural speech. My victory is in their honor. May those of us still alive continue the journey to the promised land so their sacrifice will not be in vain. The president, well aware that his people had spoken in the referendum and he made it clear how he would deliver that. I'm aware that the Bougainville may not have received its share of funds as agreed in the Bougainville Peace Agreement. So I intend to explore this further with Prime Minister Honorable James Marape. Mr. Speaker, Bougainville and PNZ will also walk the journey ahead side by side as you help Bougainville to reach its destiny, which was sanctioned by the blood of 20,000 lives. The Prime Minister's speech following after confidently announcing he had no plans of holding our back and independence will come. Finding the right balance in different dynamics at play is a greater call for yourselves and myself so that your aspirations do not harm the greater union of Papua New Guinea, but we give you what you fully intend. And what you fully intend to achieve is locked, sealed, first and foremost, in the struggle since 1988. Marape giving back Bougainville Copper Mine shares. Full transfer of BCL shares back to you in the autonomous region of Bougainville. Your government, what PNG government has, your government will have. More fiscal power to the ABG. Hopefully this time next year or the earlier the better, you will no longer come to the forest minister and Mosby for forest permits. You have the permit yourself here. You will no longer come to... Minister for Fish in Port Mosby for fishing permits. We'll discuss on where is your fishing zone, you fish yourself inside. So this will pave the way for you to grow more money in, in as far as your internal revenue is concerned. Ten percent of the 200 million Kina SME funds for the development of MSME in the region. But come lo bank lo buka na bank lo arawa so that if lo legal man Mary can go back na kisi money good. Na babi lo put in price lo cacao. Come on top good, so you go work lo cacao, you can put the price lo cacao. Committing to paying all outstanding restoration grants and giving an initial 15 million kina in restoration grants to assist the building of the public service machinery. People are working on something so the ECC, you set them on system blow you here. You may set them on judiciary system blow you here. So you come to work on the budget as well. Now me talking about team blow you I've advised our public service to readjust the way we allocate resources to Bougainville. So, you know, come again, ask him, Finance Minister Blue, not coming to our Finance Minister or Treasurer and asking him. You go to Parliament, you take what is yours. Essentially, the PM telling the people of Bougainville to begin to build an economy that is fit enough for independence. Whilst discussion on political independence will take time and we work through going to the future, we want you to practice independence, self governance, or economic autonomy at the very earliest. And I commit to you my whole of government approach to try it in as much as possible, empower you to the highest we can. Torama speaking exclusive to MTV on PM's announcement stating the work begins and economic development was important, adding that if Panguna was to open, the people will decide. It should have been addressed a long time ago, even before the, uh, the crisis has actually taken place. I think um, he's more concerned of these people and giving them the good economic opportunity. That is what my people have been asking for in the early days before the establishment of uh, CRA and this year. Panguna is for the people, and uh, whatever de their desire is, 
we will just um, um, uh, help them in achieving their dreams. The Prime Minister only asking the ABG to keep the PNG flag up and the Kin and Toya as their currency until independence is reached. The only thing I asked of you when I arrived in Arawa was maintain our flag to fly. I'll maintain our borders and we maintain our currency as three or four small things we keep and we work through. And in a time when Papua New Guinea is fully mature, whether it's one year or two years or three years or six months or five years, I don't know. But when Papua New Guinea may mature fully to the decent you work in, then we will engage in those discussions. Adelaide Zurich's Kari National, MTV News.